Okay, everybody, here we go. It is me, Gregory Manorino, Sunday, December 17th, 2023. This is my newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead. People, if you've been following my work, I have been talking about a theme that we are going to see in 2024. And from everything I look at, from everything I study, and from everything we are seeing right now, I wanted to bring all of you even more up to speed so you can get yourself ready for what is about to happen. And I believe with everything I got that we are going to see things with regard to activity from central banks around the world that we have never seen before on a scale that we have never seen before. None more so than the Federal Reserve. What do we know is going on here? We have been in some kind of twisted, off the Richter scale, sick uh, rate suppression scheme, debt buying uh, extravaganza on, on a scale that is frankly unbelievable since the last meltdown of the stock market. And all this has done, and you know this if you've been following this blog, has not just inflated the largest, most dangerous bubble in the history of the world, and I'm referring to this global debt bubble. And just in case you uh, don't know, right now at face value, and we're going to talk more about this in, in a minute or so, global debt, again, at face value, not counting associated derivatives, is over $307 trillion dollars. Uh, I mean, this is an epic number, and it's only going to get larger from here. And I want you to keep that in mind, because I'm going to read through something for you that I put together yesterday in, in just a moment or two. This mechanism here of interest rate suppression, uh, central banks buying it all, has been part of what these institutions have sought to do now for over 100 years. And we are all falling victim to it. And it's, a, it's an incredible thing to see how it's unfolding. You know, hold that thought because I'm going to read something to you. It's going to cover a lot of it. Now, if you subscribe to my free newsletter, and I know you do, <laughs> this is in your inbox right now. I write these things up for all of you. I want you to have these things. And you are free to do with these pieces of work anything you want to. You want to share them, you want to not share them, you want to make copies of them, whatever you want. I, I think this is critical information and that's why I write these things up for all of you. If you do not, for some ungodly reason, not subscribe to my newsletter, which is 100% free, there is a link in the description of this video. So people, let me read this and I want to ad lib through this so we can, you know, because I, I throw these things together. I mean, they're pretty short and I keep them short on purpose. Um, so I could come here and cover these things with you. So let's do that. All right. Um, so here we go. 2024, expect central banks to buy it all. Now, people, when I mean buy it all, I mean buy it all. Okay. This has been the goal since their inception. Central banks from over 100 years ago have had one goal and one goal only. And they're achieving it. There are, I think that 24 is going to be the year where they solidify this, um, and there's no, no way to stop it. And it all plays into the presidential selection cycle as this is evolving. Oh, did you hear, by the way? Uh, our lovely, beautiful man of, of an illustrious president, you know, the mummy himself, is out touting the stock market. All-time new record highs last week, several of them actually. And he's out to tell you, he's trying, very, well, most people are going to buy it, but... He's trying to tie together the economy and the stock market. We know there's no connection here at all, you and I. But what it's doing, it, our illustrious president, and what they're all going to try to do here is sell you yet another lie that the economy is strong because the stock market's at a record high and going higher. Um, nothing could possibly be further from the truth. 
and you know that if you've been following this blog, the illusion of the market, as you and I have been speaking about, I don't know how freaking long, is a very powerful thing. People see the market high and they think the economy is strong. The president must be doing a good job. It's the president's policies that are making the market go higher because the economy is strong. Again, this is a complete falsehood. Who runs the economy? Who runs the financial system? Who runs the financial markets? It's central banks. And here in the United States, it's the Federal Reserve who really runs the world. Because again, the US dollar, at least as of now, remains the world reserve currency. So anyway, let me get back to this. 2024, ex expect central banks to buy it all. Here we are now at the end of 2023 with a world economy coming apart faster than any other time in history and a middle class which is rapidly being erased. Hard to argue that that is not happening. Here we are at the end of 2023 with global debt surging ever higher. Duh, as you and I predicted it would. Being compounded by out of control deficits and record high government spending. Governments around the world, none more so here. Than, than in the, in the United States are promising to borrow more cash into existence than we've ever seen in history before, and that's how it has to work. It's the nature of the beast. The debt-based economic model must continually and relentlessly be fueled with exponentially rising debt. Otherwise, this whole thing comes down and fast. Here we are now at the end of 2023, seeing a world being deliberately pushed ever closer into a neo-feudal system of hierarchy and the biggest transfer of wealth ever. And that is exactly what's happening. Wealth is being pushed right up to the one and two percenters and the stock market is a major conduit uh, as to how this is occurring here. A situation in which every day more and more people are being made to succumb to direct dependency on the current system, a system which itself is destroying them. People have no idea. It's, it's, uh, it's a stealth mechanism uh, to wipe them out, and that's exactly what's going on. And yet, here we are now at the end of 2023 with the stock market at new record highs. Imagine my shock, imagine your shock now. You and I have been calling this for I don't know how freaking long that the stock market is going higher. Higher! Faster, as a matter of fact, the stock market will continue its current trajectory as long as they keep rates suppressed. As you know, we've covered this over and over again, and they're going to suppress rates even further moving forward. 10-year yield now below 4%. We're at 391 on the 10-year yield, going much lower. Relative strength of the dollar going lower, and that is going to open that doorway. You understand how this works. All of you do. This mechanism is meant to do one thing. Suppressed rates Weaker dollar, but none more so than suppressed rates. Open up a doorway for cash to make its way right into the stock market, inflating a hyper bubble. I mean, nothing makes sense anymore. As President Trump said before his, his tenure uh, as president, the stock market is in a big, fat, ugly bubble. But then it wasn't a bubble when he became president. You know, and then he kept rah, 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 the stock market, using the illusion of the market again to convince everyone how strong the economy was. The economy wasn't strong no matter what you think. The economy was floating on oceans of easy money. That President Trump was calling on the Federal Reserve to do, was uh, actually calling for negative rates, was actually calling for a weaker dollar. This freak behind the Resolute desk right now uh, well, he doesn't play that kind of a game, but he's playing it now. You see what I'm talking about? Look at the market, all-time high. Oh, the economy must be strong. It's an illusion. It's not real. And wait till you see the oceans of easy money. They're going to be pumped into this market as the economy craters even faster in 2024. So anyway, new record highs for the market be despite everything that we're seeing here, the economic news that just doesn't stop. Every forward-looking economic indicator pointing towards wor a worsening economic condition. People borrowing beyond their eyeballs, can't make ends meet, tapping into home equity. Loan defaults across the board skyrocketing, and that phenomenon is about to get worse as well. People are being pushed into the lower rung of society, and they're buying themselves a ticket on the front seat uh, of the roller coaster ride into financial obscurity, and they're just swiping and swiping and swiping and swiping. I guess it's their last hurrah in many ways. So, how is it even possible for any person who follows this blog 
Um, the answer is blatantly obvious. First of all, there is no connection or correlation whatsoever between the market and the economy. Mar how, many, how many of you have seen me do this for years? Economy, market. The gap here, the gap is getting ever wider. We're now off the edges of this screen <laughs> and then some even further. Um, they are, th these, these things are totally detached from one another. Moreover, the gap, as I just said, between the economy and the stock market is going to get even larger moving into 2024. I've also outlined multiple times in my work, again, we just spoke about this, that the faster the economy craters worldwide, because uh, this is a worldwide phenomenon as central banks are coordinating their effort here. You're going to see this is going to be right in your face. Do not believe for a nanosecond that this is just a coincidence that central banks are now all pausing their rate hikes and they're all going to be cutting rates. Working to, they already got the global economy by the throat. They already got the people of the world by the throats. Nations slaves to their system. Individuals slave to their debt-based system. And you got people like Elizabeth Warren. Don't. Stay away from cryptocurrencies. Stay in the dollar. You understand? That's what they're doing. She has a pretty big following, even though she's a freaking creature of the highest possible order. People are going to believe that. Oh, cryptocurrencies, they're used for terrorism. Oh, cryptocurrencies, they're used to conduct illegal activities. She won't tell you. She will never tell you that it's the U.S. dollar, which is the number one currency around the world, used to fund terrorism, used for illegal uh, activities as well. You can't know that. She has to say, look here. Don't look there. That thing should be thrown not just out of Congress, but out of the country, okay? Because she's part of the, the mechanism here to destroy us all. Okay, people, pay attention to this part here as I'm going to go through this because it's very important because I'm, I'm going to keep you on the right side of this equation whether you want me to or not, so pay attention. I expect that moving into 2024 collectively and by no means coincidentally, World central banks are going to embark on what be, may be the end game to their final solution. And I mean final solution. If you were to ask a central banker, what is the job? What is the job, sir or ma'am, central banker, of a central bank? You're going to hear invariably this thing. They're going to tell you to maintain price stability. Are prices remaining stable? How about no? And to maintain full employment. Is that what's going on right now? Uh, no, neither of those things. So, I mean, right now, you know, we're being duped, uh, obviously. But that's what they're going to tell you. Anyway, but the actual goal of every central bank is only one thing, people, to issue their single product to the world. What is the single product of any central bank? Tell Greg Manorino right now before I tell you. I think you know already. It's debt, period. And the more debt any given central bank can issue was called on to issue by, for example, a government, a president, or anybody else, the stronger the central bank becomes, not the weaker. Okay, I remember that. Remember that farce that was going on during President Trump's tenure? Oh, President Trump's bankrupting the Fed. No, all he was doing was making the Fed stronger, exponentially stronger. The more cash a central bank is called to create out of nothing the stronger they become, exponentially stronger, just in case you were wondering. What's the Achilles heel of a central bank? Does anyone here want to maybe tell me? Because I'm going to tell you. The Achilles heel of a, or any central bank is, exists in only one thing as well. If we understand that central bank's single power is their ability to issue debt to the world, if we can take that power away, again, prevent the Federal Reserve in this case from issuing one dollar one dollar of more debt, the central bank would collapse. It would start a domino effect and central banks around the world would collapse. This is why you're going to hear about trillion dollar uh, spending bills for defense. This is why you're going to hear about more funding for war, hundreds of the billions of dollars into the trillions. Blank check for Israel. Uh, this is really a blank check for all war. Um, but you know how this is being spoken about in Congress right now. In Congress right now, they're talking about an unlimited amount of funding for the war in Israel. And, you know, it's, it's also the same thing for the Ukraine, but they're, they're, they're piecemealing it. Oh, here's another 300 million. Here's another X amount of million. Here's a, yeah, as you already know, as part of the defense spending bill, the tr nearly trillion dollar defense spending bill, uh, they've already slated 300 million, and that's a next, the next installment 
uh, package and there's going to be more on top of that moving forward. Of course, you know that and you're going to be forced to fund it all whether you back it or not. You see, because this is not a representative democracy at all. You have no representation at all. Zero. Um, and I think we're pretty much aware of that. Anyway, um, this mechanism is the number one reason bar none. That is, again, um, and more debt, the more debt a central bank can issue, the stronger they become. Okay, uh, this very mechanism is the number one reason, bar none, why global debt now stands at a face value, I already told you, of $307 trillion, more than that, uh, not counting for its associated derivatives, which bring this number into the multiple quadrillion. See, it's always the face value number. It's not so bad. It's only $307 trillion. It's not so bad. But add in the associated derivatives and you're at in the quadrillions here. Every so-called developed nation on earth, none more so than right here in the United States, has become a slave to its central bank, which also include its citizens. It's central banks which run the economy, the financial markets, and the financial system in its entirety. I'm almost done. Pay attention to this last part, all right? Ever since the inception of central banking, these institutions have had a single objective, to one day own it all. You know that, if you've been following this blog, to be both the lender and buyer of last resort. The setup right now, right now, people, is very simple. This is what we're going to see moving into 2024. Come 2024, central banks are planning to vastly increase their purchases of assets and massively inflate global debt. We haven't seen anything yet. Expect bond yields to drop in 2024 and more cash to make its way into the stock market. You know how it works. Central banks suppress rates. It opens up a doorway for cash to make it into the stock market. This is done by design. Inflate the world stock markets, push wealth up to the one and two percenters, use the market as a mechanism of illusion so people think, hey, stock market's high, economy must be strong. And that's what President Bidenstein, mummy man, himself is now selling to the people uh, of, of the United States and, and the world because it's his economic policies, remember that. Obviously, we know that's not true. Expect volumes to drop in 2024 and, and more cash to make its way into the stock market. Also expect housing and real estate prices to go even higher despite falling demand. Supply and demand has nothing to do with reality anymore. Expect that central bank issued notes, their currency that they issued to us that we, the only, the only thing we do uh, is we work to borrow that cash from central banks. It's not yours. They own it. You understand that? And you owe it back to the central bank plus interest they create out of nothing. Poof. And then it exists. And expect that the world economy will, will deteriorate more rapidly than ever before. But that is not going to stop the stock markets of the world from rising. That is not going to stop debt from ballooning beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Debts and deficits to get even worse uh, moving forward. And this is setting up also for an inflationary nightmare. But you're going to hear the quite the opposite from the propaganda ministry, uh, the propaganda ministry, the C ministry, the CNBCs, the Bloombergs, the Fox Business. They're going to tell you that what you're seeing and what you're feeling is not real. They're going to dictate your life to you to even a higher degree than they do now. You understand? Uh, and people are going to wonder what's happening to them. It's an incredible thing. It really is. But... Um, you know, when you have a device like the Tell Lie Vision or these programs that are designed as a mind screw, a psyop on an unprecedented scale, what else would you expect when people have been dumbed down to the point where they don't know, uh, where they can't walk and chew gum at the same time? They believe everything they're told and they march right in line to the slaughter. And that's exactly what they're doing. So what are you and I going to do in, in 2024 and what we've been doing? We're going to continue to bet against the current system. Not going to... We're not going to succumb to it, okay? Uh, although we must participate in their system, um, and we can't transact in anything except the dollar, according to people like Elizabeth Warren, of course. I'm referring to her, and there's a lot like her as well. There's mo many senators are now jumping on this bandwagon. I don't know how many she's up to now, but Senator Elizabeth Warren is out there with her petition going around through Congress, getting them to sign... Um, you know, stay in the dollar legislation, stay in the dollar legislation, make you a slave to the dollar legislation. You can't even own gold or silver. They don't want you in it. They want you in the dollar. That should tell you something. You understand? Um, just like any 
For example, someone like Jamie Dimon, the CEO of a Wall Street superbank. You think they want you in anything else but the dollar? Uh, no. You see, do you see the mechanism here? I think it's pretty obvious here. Anyway, we're going to continue to bet against the dead people, become our own central banks, hold hard assets. Silver, my favorite asset of all time. And you all know that. Gold, my second favorite. Um, just, just keep doing what we've been doing and stay long the market as long as they keep rates suppressed. And I do not see this changing for as far as the eye can see. This market's going higher. This market is going higher. You understand? Until it doesn't. And we know... We will know, because we know what we're looking at, you and I. We're watching risk. Greg Manorino doesn't sit here with googly eyes and look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average like the propaganda ministry wants you to do. Greg Manorino, as you, are watching risk in this market. We're using the MMRI, Manorino Market Risk Indicator. It's free to everyone on the planet, because I want you to have these things so you can have a the best idea of what you need to do. It's free to everyone here in the description of the video. Take advantage of these things, okay? The best things in life are free, trust me on this. All right, I could have charged for that. I don't want to charge for it. I want you to have it for nothing because I want you to take advantage of it. Anyway, people, look, we got this down. I don't care what they do. I'm telling you a million times. They can do what they want to. They can't beat us because we're too smart. They think we're stupid and we're not. We're not part of the dumbed down zombified crowd that's out there, you and me. You understand? I think you get it. All right, look, this guy here loves you a lot from the heart. We got a plan and we're going to stick to it. We're not going to deviate from it. 2024 is going to be an epic year. Epic. Nothing like we've ever seen before. Just be ready for it. Nothing like we have ever seen before. It's going to be wild. It's going to be a wild ride. And uh, we're going to be with each other the whole way. Count on it. All right? Please comment, please share the video, get it out there. Those thumbs up are massively appreciated. It lets the algorithms pick it up and it gets it out there. I'm counting on you to share this stuff. Get it out there, all right? See you in the morning.